thing does. Here we are at part seven. I don't know what I'm doing myself after this game. This game is so awesome. I guess I'm gonna I know is that I'm really enjoying these ones again. So I might have to go back and you know, maybe do some old school the um like oh god now I can't think of what what's called the pirate ones and you know those little comedy ones that I used to do back in the day. Um yeah, can't even think of it. Guy brush three four you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. We'll see what else I've got. There's a couple of other ones that I want to start doing as well, so Alright, so here we are in Fishmouth. We've got our glass. It's over here. Ah oh, yes, this area. We've been here, we've done this. Now it's to get in there, but we couldn't actually do much in there. Oh. We'll go over here, please. Hello. Evening, uh, brothers. Yeah, yeah, what do you want? Just seeking passage into the uh, derelict industrial premises you're currently eclipsing. Don't come here wasting my time, you hear? I want to get inside of the abandoned factory behind you, brother. Just say so, eh? So are you, Malusco? You're darn tootin' I'm Malusco. Oh yeah? Good! Chief Piovera specifically said don't let Malusco in! Right Dang it! <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Me? Mollusco? Huh. Missed the confused identity over here. Well, who are you then? Pescatori? Um. Yep, in the flesh. Oh, no, until good. It. You're finally here. I tell you, they say the worst that could have happened probably happened. I always knew we shouldn't trust that psycho with the meal. The meal? Are you serious? Oh, I see what's going on. You're questioning my clearance level, huh? That is exactly what I'm doing. Yes. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> I thought so. Don't worry. These guys are hardcore, but they took a vow of silence, so... I'm level 3 clearance. I pretty much know most of it. Oh, yeah? Tell me what the meal is, then. May Father Dagon forgive our naivete. Is that how you pronounce that? How should I know? Pulling the wool over our eyes with talk of raising the meal, the ultimate feast for the dreamer. Damn butcher, cobbling flesh together and raising that thing in Kraken Bay, that half goofer. It ain't natural. We talking GMOs here, or? Uh... I ain't in the mood for joking. He played us good, Pescatori. The dreamer yet hungers, brother. Yeah, yeah, Cthulhu for Dagon. Um, you know. Hundred percent Dagen indeed. We've let him down, brother. We raised that thing for the dreamer to feast on, and now we just might have to face it. Ooh, that flesh tinker and lunatic ran away with it. Oh wow. We know that for sure. Ain't that why you're here? To find out for sure? The elders won't let us regulars in the factory. Personally, I think he's long gone. But go ahead and find out. Thanks. Wait, wait. I got specific instructions, though. You can go in, but only in the presence of Chief Piovra. Well, this couldn't be that easy, could it? So, where's Piovra? You're asking the wrong person, Fra. He's probably out boozing himself to death like he always do, right, guys? Why do I keep talking to these mooks? Ugh, drinks like a fish, that Piovra. <sighs> All right, I'll return with Piovra. See you, guys. Salute! Hmm. Okay, so that gives the general idea of something. That's awesome. Everyone loves that. Okay. Should we see our little cat? 
Ahsoka Jan's part of my elite squad that's taken a vow of silence. So, let's not and say we did. No, we couldn't say we didn't. Hmm. And an oil puddle. I'm not too bad, thank you. How are you doing? Got myself a glass of oil. Mm -hmm. Neat. I got a bit of a voice back, which is nice. Glass of oil, everyone needs one of them. Mm -hmm. Oh, what's this? Oh, we haven't been here before. So, so, so. Oh, my arm's itchy. It's so annoying. That microsurgery on it's still bloody itching everywhere. I don't know if that means I did it wrong or not. Doesn't matter. A girl. You don't wear that t-shirt in my Yeah, house, yeah. Joey. I'll tell you about it. Like, we did chat about it, but I'll remind you about it when I'm not recording. Um, it was to do with the issue. Yeah. So have you looked at any of these other ones? Yeah. <laughs> Hey kid. This game is so much fun. Stupid cultist. Dagon judge you, child. Yeah, yeah, take your Dagon and let's uh maybe not go there. Yeah. So, how's it's things? What's with the wheelbarrow? What's with the wheelbarrow? Nice conversational spark up, square. Red. Well, you do have a wheelbarrow. Yeah, so? Can't be cool next to a wheelbarrow, because you said so, Pops? Sheesh. Huh. I guess I really am a square now. Man, I used to be one of the cool kids. Mm -hmm. You yeah. don't say. <laughs> we were never yeah, one of the cool right. kids. I never was a cool kid. Exactly. I never really fit in, you know? What? Oh. Seriously? Yeah, must be why I'm walking around in these ridiculous pajamas. <laughs> just, just trying to be accepted somewhere, you know? Oh, man. I think the pajamas and niches, all. I feel you. Yeah, well, at least I got this. What? These stupid robes? Do they make you feel special, dude? I'm just getting mad underneath, but... They like me more in these dumb rags, sister. Sister. It ain't the seventies anymore, Daddy O. And one of the other ones yet to whatever flies your um, dirigible. You know what I mean? Rob Pot and fish yeah. away for himself, so he smells delicious too. Far out, bruv. Why are you uh hating on the order though? <laughs> He's all street now. Your nomenclature's all over the place, buds. You guys are a bunch of fish brains for worshipping that imaginary tadpole dad of yours. Uh, he's alright. Yeah, right. Dream on, Pops. In one of the other ones, I think it was the last one, when he first got this outfit, he had to rub himself in rotten fish. Um, so he would fit in properly. So he looks amazing. And smells amazing. Yeah. Can I let you in on a little secret? Wait, maybe I shouldn't. Your your parents are probably in the esoteric order. Nah, man, they're not. My dad's a fisherman and that's it. All we do is deliver seafood to these wackos. What's the secret? Come on, tell me. Come on, come on, tell me the secret, come on. In a minute, how come your dad's not in the order? I don't know, he's not into that mumbo jumbo. I mean, he's cool with the festival, because we get to sell a lot of fish to you loonies. Not me. I've come to hate fish. Yeah, ooh, tell me about it. But we're depopulating these waters, man. What the hell do you people need so much fish for? You should just get as much as you need and stop making such a waste. Can't disagree with that. Look, I have no idea what all the fish are for, honest. 
All right, the, uh, the secret is... I'm not really a cultist. I'm a private investigator. I snuck in here because I'm working a case. Whoa. Are you serious? That is so cool. Oh my god. Yep, that's you true. No idea. Name's Don. Don Katype. Awesome. I'm Joey. Nice to meet you, Joey. Yeah, man. So you're Just not give me the wheelbarrow. Stuff, are you, Joey? Gah. I can't stand all these creeps and creepettes swarming around town. This place is horrible enough as is. We don't need extra wackos. Is there, um, I know it sounds dumb, but is there, uh, is there fishy stuff going on in your family? Nah. I mean, I see what you're getting at, but some of these people are just, you know, ugly, I guess. It's not a mutation or anything, I don't think. Well, mm. you get really used to them when you see them walking around every day. You might be, dude. They look like fish. So kind of like not into all the festival stuff, are you, Joey? Gah. I can't stand all these creeps and creepettes swarming around town. This place is horrible enough as is. We don't need extra wackos. Is there, um, I know it sounds dumb, but is there, uh, is there fishy stuff going on in your family? Don't you know yeah. I mean... I see what you're getting at, but some of these people are just, you know, ugly, I guess. It's not a mutation mm. or anything, I don't think. Well, you get really used to them when you see them walking around every day. I see. Blah, 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 blah. I'll catch you later, Joey. See ya, Dawn. Want a wheelbar? Give me a wheelbar. Give me. Mm. Maybe I should. The goddamn I'll catch you later, Joey. See you, Don. Mm. I let it often lets you ask things multiple times because the it'll change. Like you can look at things multiple times, you can do that because it does sometimes it does change. So I might not have asked the right thing. Detect theme. a nice healthy addition of carrots to his diet. Weirdos. Just seeing if I've missed anything because I want that blooming wheelbarrow. Hey, you. How you doing, dude? Nice to see someone happily married. Didn't get to experience that yourself, bro? Bit rude. Happily? Huh. No. But uh, I'm glad it worked for you. Yeah, man, me too. You know what I love about Azanath? She's not one of those all up in your business wives, you know? She ain't about like, yeah, man. taking my life over. Yeah, like, That's nice. so cool. Yeah. yeah, I love that she gives me my personal space. What else do you like about your wife? She just lets me be me. That's major. That's so major. I love that. That's anything, my favorite. Uh, anything else you like about your wife? She's not possessive. I'd hate that. Okay. What else do you like about your wife? She loves being herself and leaving my life and my time to myself. <laughs> tell me another thing you like about her. Oh God, just tell you know me what? everything. This conversation's getting a bit weird. Yeah. And I'm too hungry for it. Ah, right. Sorry. I mean, I just waiting for his fish and chips. You know anything about a guy called... The butcher. Butcher? Unless he's in there preparing my fish and chips. Nah, dude. Yeah. All right, man. Nah, he's all right. I'll let you wait he's, for your meal in peace. He's Enjoy the normal. festival, Brosif. And don't indulge so too much, you hear? <laughs> okay, man.
We're full. Go somewhere else. Stop mm. pushing. Did a guy named Piavra happen to drop by your fine establishment? No offense, brother, but I'm smart enough to know I ain't supposed to be saying who's who and who ain't who, especially in these tense times, you know? Oh, I completely understand, and I appreciate the honesty. I wouldn't call the atmosphere tense exactly, more like completely insane. Oh, uh, you're just too trustworthy for me to keep my guard up, ain't you? Yeah, that's Piavra passed out in the armchair over there. I meant yeah, that's my the skill. was about the meal. Strange... Oh, never mind. Just my big mouth get me in trouble again. The meal, huh? Yeah, I keep hearing troubles afoot. Trouble? Huh. Erin knew that psycho butcher was trouble from the get-go. But oh no, elders know best. Too much talk of double-crossing down the abandoned factory the last few hours, you know what I'm saying? Where there's smoke, there's fire, huh? Dag on, forgive me for talking out of school. But if that good-for-nothing meat cobbler really denies the dream of his meal, well, there just ain't no point to nothing anymore. Wouldn't want the dreamer to go hungry, would we? Not after all the blood, sweat, and tears went into raising that thing. Cthulhu for Targon. The dreamer. Brother, you're trustworthy and all, and I like you on a personal level, but this thing's too big for us to be yapping about. Yeah, makes sense. Sorry for insisting. For Targon. I'll be on my way. It seems Chief Piovra's leathery outfit is stuck to the armchair. Alright, that seems to have loosened the armchair's grip on Piovra's rotund frame. I think I need something else there first. Like a wooper? Maybe we go talk to her now. Now that we know what we've been doing before. Hey, lady, give me a wheelbarrow. Yep. Joey, you think I could borrow that wheelbarrow for a minute? Oh, man, I would, but I'd really avoid getting on my dad's nerves right now. You know, I want to get a tattoo or a piercing soon, something to express myself right. And he's like so against it. Like, all he knows and cares about is fishing stuff. Says, I'm gonna be a fisherman, just like he is. Right, I gotcha. Hmm, let me think for a minute. Hey, Joey, what if you somehow got to express yourself and keep your dad happy too? How would I do that? Mm. I have this fish hook. Think about it, fish hook lip piercing. Your dad can't hate on that. It just screams fisherman. What do you say? That is so gnarly, dude. Awesome. <laughs> so unhealthy. Whew. All right, then. You think I could get that uh, wheelbarrow for a couple of minutes? Sure, dude. Knock yourself out. Man, this is going to look so sick. Woot, woot. Yeah. Uh... Maybe clean it a bit before sticking it in your <laughs> Yeah, I'd I don't say think so. it's entirely sanitary as is. Uh-huh. Thanks, Don. Sure thing. Hey, before I go. What do you know about the meal? Look, man, I shouldn't either know or be telling you this, but a lot of the fish that my dad and most fishermen in town catch go straight into the meal. The fish or the meal? 
No, you square. The meal is what they've been raising over in Kraken Bay. Duh. Oh. Duh. Oh. So, uh, what is it? Don't know, don't care, and I wouldn't look too closely into it if I were you. Just saying. Okay. Do you know anything about the, uh, the dreamer? Oh, man, don't say that out loud. They don't like that. Well, paradoxically, they speak his name out loud all the time, but geez, careful. You mean yeah, exactly. Dagon? Bigger than Dagon, Broham. Much bigger. Anyway, it's just a dumb delusion like everything else the Order worships. But it keeps him a pop in business, so, you know. Uh-huh. You ever heard of someone called the Butcher? Psh, who hasn't? But officially, I have no idea what you're talking about. There's a lot of whispers of betrayal and all kinds of crazy stuff, and everybody in the EOD is a lot more on edge than usual, but none of them are right in the head, so who knows, really? Yeah, this place is crazy, no doubt. Later, Later Joey. Joey. Don't blow my cover, all right? Watch your back, Donnie boy. Okay, that I will buy. Said I will buy. Yes, it is. You right, dude? Cry body. Time to pop a cultist out of an armchair. Yeah. Well, here we are in the presence of Chief Piavra. Porca vaca! But had to tell how present he really is, but it's him all right. Ain't no discussion about that. All right, go right ahead. And Pescatori? Yeah? Well, I'm convinced he's long gone. But if by some dark miracle you do get a hold of him, show him what the EOD does to trade us. Ooh, show him good! You betcha. See you later, Pesce. Let him through, boys. Cthulhu for Doggin. All right, I was in. A cold, bluish green light revealed parts of rusty machinery here and there. Everything else was drowned in inky black. Probably as black as the butcher's deeds, but that remained to be seen. I was in. Just one regret. I'll never know who Randolph really was. What? Didn't even use the name tag. Oh, well, whatever. As you do. Okay, let's have a sticky peek around here, eh? It's a hatch in this, uh, this thing. But it's dark as night inside. No, there's a couple of bits and pieces you do in this game. You pick it up for no particular reason. Like, I picked up a whole bunch of trash. I picked up a whole bunch of trash and there was literally no reason for it. Um... It was just because I would annoy the cat if I picked it up. Well, there's lots of those little jokes from like older games, you know, when you go and collect a whole pile of things where you only actually need one of them and the rest of them just vanish. That kind of stuff. We got a container over oh, here. The lid's all stuck with some disgusting crud. There's lots of like old school jokes about it and stuff like that about um, old Let's games and baby open. now they go like, skulls of characters from older All games. Right. <laughs> Got myself a power tool. Good. I really wanted a power tool. That's exactly right. Okay, so you've got a valve lever. Can't use it by itself. Can too. It's the lever what puts the huge engine in motion. Nah, works fine. Mm. Huge, huge, huge engine. Alright, what else have we got? Look. Oh, no. <laughs> cultist. 
Isn't that assuming a bit too much given how dark it is in here? Don't push your luck when there's an angry little kid pointing a hand cannon at you, baby. That sounds like the chick we met in the last... Concerned. Well, in one of them. I know that I want to live in a society where an innocent child can easily get her hands on a... Would you like for mice to really appreciate you? Uh, what? Um... Unless you really do, don't make me turn you into Swiss cheese! Okay, I froze. But, uh... I'm somehow a little warm at the same time, too. Ew! Hey, <laughs> you really startled me. I'm not moving. Good. Good. Okay, now what? Now you get to explain just what you're creeping around in the dark here for, cultist. I... I'm really not a cultist. Honest. Mm, okay, let me see here. Cultist ropes? Check. Lurking around in an abandoned factory? Check. I'm a private investigator, in deep cover. That's not the only thing you're deep in, creep. What are you up to here? Don't lie. I can tell. <laughs> I was just looking for you. Someone said a kid got lost in this abandoned factory, so... so here I am, inspection. savior. Look, I'm not firing any warning shots, because the noise will alert your buddies. So rely on me, making all my bullets count. Jesus. Read that loud and clear. I'm investigating. I'm looking for, uh... Well, at this point, I might call him a criminal mastermind, really. The Butcher. And how do I know you're not one of his henchmen, trying to lie your way out? Oof. Can't think of anything, really. There's just been so much going on lately, it's hard to wrap my head around everything. Let alone explain myself to a kid with a huge gun point at my noggin. I've got yeah. time. Uh, to make an uh, extremely long and convoluted story short, I'm helping a friend unhumanize his cat, I think. Turns out, uh, when they can talk, they're real grouches. So, I'm trying to find out. Wait, what's this friend's name? Buzz. Oh, we'll talk about a coincidence. Is he a librarian? Only librarian I know what's got a talking cat, yeah. Wait, you're not shooting me now, are you? Whatever way they wronged you, I had nothing to do with it. Kid, it can be a real... They actually got Mr. Gillsby back for me. I hate to say it, but they're kind of all right in my book. I... I... I mean, I hate them less than you cultists. Wait, you know Buzz and Kitty? Yeah, we swapped dolls a while ago. Back in Darkham. Well, that sounds perfectly normal. Unlike what you are doing to the fishies, you... you... I don't even like fish. I I mean, I don't like eating them. I've got nothing against them. So then why are you killing so many of them? Again, not a cultist. But it might have something to do with whatever the butcher was working on in this very building. Yeah, well, we'll shed some light on that situation soon enough. I'm really not a cultist. My name's Don. Don Archetype. Hmm, Don doesn't sound like what a cultist name would be. I figured they'd all have names like... Mortimer? Yeah, and he's really uptight too. Do you believe I'm not a cultist now? Not entirely. You'd better actually prove it. Alright, uh, I'm game I guess. What are you thinking? If you're really here for the reasons you say you are, we're both looking for the same thing. The Butcher's Laboratory. Chop chop! I'll be supervising from up here. Sounds like a plan, uh, Miss. Priscilla. Are you sure? Oh yeah. <laughs> Let's do it. Everything's very much like that. And a huge imposing door. I mean, I love huge imposing doors. Let's be honest. I became rich, I'd have like seven other shoes. Priscilla, that's, that's one impressive, gigantic door. Lock it! Lock it! Leave the shut up! <laughs> Locked from the inside. Didn't really expect to see mattresses and pillows lying around in here, but there they are.
I don't want to touch any of them. Maybe they had an overpopulation problem? Place seems empty now. Sleep more, work more, raise more. Sleep more, work more, raise more. Okie dokie. It ain't working. Mm -mm. Hmm. What? What are you, my friend? Strange. There's a discontinuity in the pattern here. Oh yeah. I know Kung Fu. <laughs> it's a heavy sliding door. It's riveted shut. Dang it. Maybe not on the door itself. Thank God for technology. I stepped inside and felt my teeth instantly chatter. This was some kind of cryo room and I didn't bring thicker underwear. Ugh. Hey, it's a gas canister. It's just junk. I don't need any of it. Come to Papa, sweet gasoline. The whole pile of junk. Hurry, hurry, hurry! Some kind of strange display with cycling buttons on both sides. That's real cool. God. That's real cool. Oh. What in the... Missing. <laughs> Jolly good day to you, sir and young miss, if day it indeed be. You will forgive my disorientation, I trust. I've been holed up in here for quite a while. I suppose thanks are in order for opening that blasted door. Truly appreciate it. And what's the other heads? Ah, uh, sure, no problem. Oh, do forgive my rudeness. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm quite sure that my name is Otis, but I'm afraid much of my biography is as much a question mark to myself as it is to you. I'm not wrong in surmising that this is the first time you're engaging in conversation with a human octopus hybrid, correct? Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm kind of at a loss for words here. Don't worry, Mr. Octopus Person. I like you. You're kind of a fishy, so you're okay. Haha, <laughs> well, yes, young miss. I assume I am. Aren't I? Please, call me Otis. Nice to meet you, Otis. I'm Basila, and this guy over here is Dawn. He's a private detective. Yes, she believes me. But anyway. <laughs> 
So, Otis, how'd you become an octopus hybrid? I mean, of course, if that's not too painful to discuss. Oh, not at all! Details, I'm afraid, are pretty sparse, and amnesia seems to be a side effect of the process. I do remember my name was Otis, and I, well, I died. I'm afraid I can't remember the circumstances. I did wake up at the hands of these persons that were operating on me. Strange sensation, to be sure, but I was alive again. Quite a blessing, sir, I assure you. You have a uh, quite the positive outlook on life for a, a talking head. How could I not? I was dead, and now I live. Is there a greater joy imaginable? I think not. Um, That's a refreshingly positive attitude. Thank you. I was always an optimist, and as you can see, good things have happened to me. Indeed. Did you see the butcher? Yeah. Did you? I'm afraid I don't know what butcher you speak of. Well, everything's a bit foggy, you understand. All I can remember are masked men rushing about with all kinds of strange instruments. Their speech was muffled, so it was pretty hard to make anything out, I'm afraid. Dang it. I do remember them referring to me as a dry, if that helps at all. Sure. A uh, dry. Any idea what that means? One can only assume it has some negative implications, but that's pure speculation on my part. Oh. We you like your laboratory is? Yes, I do. You, you don't want to go in there, do you? Indeed, we're chatting away when we should be getting out of here at this very instant. No one's going anywhere until we reach the lab. Oh dear, I must be frank with you, young miss. I intend to leave the premises as soon as possible and suggest you do the same. Come on, Otis, work with us. You ain't gotta go back in there, just help us get in. Oh, heavens, well, all right. I suppose I owe you a debt of gratitude. The laboratory is right outside this chamber and to the right. Okie dokie dokie. Hey kid, I think I thought of a way to get us past those huge doors, but I need you to trust me, okay? What do you mean? I'm gonna need that gun of yours. Fine, I trust you. Do not let me down. Jesus. That's a promise, Priscilla. I'm not sure I want to do that. Okay. There's a blue liquid inside this tube. Liquid nitrogen, perhaps? Nah, works fine. Drink up, big buddy. There you go. gotten the engine to run. At least now, any loud noises would be covered by the engine's humming. Mm -hmm. 
It's been a while, but here goes. I got rid of the glass above the door to the lab. Seeing as you're the only one with suction cups, think you could do us a solid and get inside the lab through there? Oh dear! I suppose I can. To be perfectly honest, I'm shaking in my non-existent boots just at the thought of going back in there. Come on, you can do it, Otis. Yeah, you go, Otis. I appreciate your support, dear friends. <sighs> All right, here I go. Oh dear! Oh lord! Oh, it's it's all coming back now! The pits! The horrible pits! The non-dries! They're horrible gnashing and gnawing and... Oh, this is too much to bear! Oh god, what is that? Oh! Oh, what do you know? It's a coin! <laughs> oh, and of, of course, n no pockets to put it in. Great! Oh god, the abominations! <laughs> Focus, Otis! Focus! Uh, 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 all right, it's open. Wow. Thanks, Otis. You are incredibly brave. Yeah. Yes. C uh, could I please go now? Yes, go on. There are horrible things in there, and I don't wish to spend another second in their vicinity. Where are you headed to, Otis? I, uh... Oh, it appears I really have no place to go, do I? <sighs> yeah. I thought that might be the case. Look, here's my office back in Darkham. The key's under the doormat. Make yourself at home until you, uh, think things through, all right? How exactly is he going to make it there without attracting attention? You're right. Hey, I have an idea. Priscilla, you should mail him to my address. You know, like a like a pet or something. I do want to see the laboratory and save the fishies. You said it yourself. Otis is sort of a fishy, and he needs your help. Once you mail him, you can come back and we'll explore together. What do you say? Guess you're right. But don't explore too much without me, you hear? You can count on me, partner. Don't get ahead of yourself. See ya! Many thanks again! All the best! Oh, it's jolly good to get a second chance, isn't it? So many opportunities! Mike? Hmm. Let's see ya. Why? Why I could be on telly, my dear. The one true talking head out there. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's true. <laughs> see, little one? Always keep a positive outlook. Ew. Ow. T just a second. Stepped in some oily thing oh, here. No. Ew. Well, I guess it's slithered, actually, isn't it? <laughs> You're funny, Otis. Well, that head. was surreal. <sighs> Alright, let's see what secrets this place holds. Okay. And being that it's 43 minutes into the playthrough, we're going to stop it there for now. Thank you, Kelly, for coming to watch. And we look forward to everyone being here for the next one. Funsy funsies. Okay. Love ya. Bye.